What's up YouTube, Alien Rides here, and today we are back and taking a look at the Segway GT1 and the GT2. Now Segway is known for making small electric commuter scooters, but they've recently released these super scooters, and let's find out what makes them super. So let's take a look, subscribe and let's ride. Back in 2015, Segway was bought out by Chinese e-scooter magnate Ninebot, and ever since, the Segway brand has been tied to Ninebot. But now, Segway has returned with the same dedication to futuristic design that defined the brand back in 1999. The GT series of super scooters is Segway's first e-scooter outside of the Ninebot name. We loved the refined, high-quality build, the futuristic look, performance, and serious engineering that went into it. And that's just a few of the reasons we offer it at AlienRides.com. Segway has definitely backed up their claims of the super scooter with these internals. The GT1 features a 3 kilowatt peak motor, while the GT2 features two of them. And despite running at a relatively low 58.8 volt maximum, the GT series easily hits 35 miles per hour and even 45 miles per hour on the GT2. Plenty of modern scooters feature dual suspension, but none have gone as far as Segway with their dual wishbone design for a solid futuristic support. Both the front and rear shocks are easily adjustable with small knobs, and they just soak up every bump in the road. It's a super smooth and stable ride. The GT Series scooters make sure you know they're from the future. The buttons and dials are all high quality and futuristic in design, while the bright LCD screen clearly displays speed, power, battery, mode, and all of your ride telemetry. The slick design goes even further on the GT2, where the display is transparent and even easier to read under bright sunlight. Segway carries innovation forward with the GT Cruise Control. Most scooters have a cruise control feature, but it's usually a static setting that is either on or off. On the GTs though, the cruise control is a toggle on the left handlebar. Just press the button on, and then it will hold your current speed until you brake, accelerate, or toggle it off. These future scooters have more features than any other scooter we've reviewed. It has four speed modes, walk, eco, sport, race, and boost. Walk sounds like a joke, but it actually makes moving the 100 plus pound scooter a breeze. Eco, sport, and race modes all function similarly with no time limit and good power delivery, with only two key differences between the modes. Each mode has a different top speed, of course, plus the all new innovation, dynamic traction control. This is going to give you maximum traction and power delivery. The final riding mode is Boost. It's a time limited mode that gives you incredible acceleration. Now, let's check out our top speed run. All right, here we go. Top speed test on the GT2 at our favorite street, San Jose Ave. A little bit of a tailwind, but we'll see where we go. All right, we got boost and race mode on. Ooh, this thing pulls. This thing actually pulls. This thing hauls ass. All right, 74 kilometers per hour. 75, looks like we're holding it. 76, 77. Looks like we're holding a pretty, pretty steady 77 kilometers per hour. A little bit under 50 miles an hour, 40, 45 miles an hour or so. Pretty good. Very stable, no wobbles at all. You can easily 
carve it back and forth at speed, it's not going to want to wobble at all. Very nice build. Sweet. Very comfortable. I'm impressed. All right, guys, we've got the GT1 now back to San Jose. We just finished riding with the GT2. We had a top speed of 44 miles an hour on GPS. Let's see what this one got. So pretty good acceleration still, even with single motor on the GT1. All right, 62 kilometers per hour, 63 kilometers per hour, 64, 65, pretty good. Okay, holding steady at 64-ish kilometers per hour. So, really impressive for a single motor scooter. Really, really good for single motor. Same thing as the GT2, very stable, carvable at speed, no issues, no wobbles. Very nice, very nice ride. That same suspension as well at speed. And jump. Alrighty. Very good. Not bad for single motor. Holy shit. Segway isn't content with just making a powerful scooter, but also innovating. For the first time in the industry, the GT2 features dynamic traction control that can adjust each motor's torque on the fly for adverse road conditions, like gravel paths and dirt hills. Furthermore, it automatically activates in the non-race modes. Here we are, we're gonna do the Segway GT2 hill climb test. This thing has a ton of torque, a great acceleration. Don't think it'll have any problems on this, but uh, let's see how it does. We're gonna make sure we're in race and boost mode for that extra power. And uh, here we go. Oh, skidding tires up this hill, no problems. Going 37 miles an hour up this hill. Blowing past this stop sign. We are just leaving. Okay, check in. And this last little stretch is steep, but no problems, almost 30 miles an hour up the hill for the GT2. <laughs> there you have it. I think this is definitely one of the fastest scooter hill climbers on the market right now. All right, here we are, Ripley Street, this hill has claimed a lot of scooters. The, the Vicette 10, no problems getting up. I don't so foresee this one having any problems. The Vicette 9 did not make it up. Um, made it up about maybe halfway or so. So same, same thing, we're gonna make sure that we're on race mode. The boost mode is on and uh, we're gonna go. Here we go. Ooh. Great speed up this hill. That is pretty, pretty impressive, honestly. All right, GT1 back here at Alabama Street. Uh, we're gonna see if it makes it up. Single motor, but still pretty good amount of torque. Um, the very last part of the street, I don't, think there's ever been a single motor scooter to ever make it up. So let's see how this one does. Climbing this section pretty easily. Picking up a little bit of speed. All 
All right, upcoming to the last section of Alabama. Will the single motor scooter make it? Oh, slowing down a little bit, but still going strong. Yeah. All right. So the GT1 was able to make it all the way up Alabama Street, but the real question is, can it conquer Ripley Street? All right, GT1, single motor, Ripley Street, race mode. Let's see how we do. Okay. Oh, it's climbing. It's climbing. It's going. It's going. Oh, it's going. Oh, it made it. Oh my gosh. That I think is a first for the single motor scooter market all the way up Ripley Street. We just made it up Ripley Street on the GT1 in race mode, single motor. I think this is a first for the single motor scooter market to ever make it up this really steep hill. That's insane. That's crazy. It actually made it. We were all doubting. We were all non-believers. And Segway proved us wrong. 52 volt single motor. Nuts. That's crazy. I, I, I believe. Steven believed the whole time. I, I was really hoping he <laughs> The GT series matches the new standard for high end scooters with integrated turn signals and a bright 900 lumen headlight. But even then, Segway went above and beyond. A tap of the turn signal button turns them on for three seconds or you can hold it to keep them activated. They're both in the front and the rear, and they look quite vibrant and visible. The rear has dual turn signals, and they look amazing. Segway has kept safety in mind with the GT series, as both the one and the two features a loud electronic horn. Rough roads and bumps don't affect the GT scooters at all, as the massive suspension just soaks them up. The large 11 inch tires also help soak up road imperfections and have amazing tread as well. It's extremely comfortable and smooth while having aggressive acceleration when needed. These super scooters stop extremely quickly thanks to their dual hydraulic brakes. They have brake lights, but they do not have e-braking. With all these features, the GT2 is not particularly light or small. It's about 117 pounds, and I would recommend having a dedicated parking spot that you could leave it unfolded. Segway and Ninebot by extension have stayed in the low performance, high durability corner of the e-scooter industry. But the GT series breaks out of the normal zone and directly competes with the likes of the Nami Burn E and the VSET 11 Plus, both of which we've already reviewed and you can find their videos on our channel. While the GTs are not speed demons or range masters, they have the best quality of life features, the smoothest ride, and by far the most futuristic design. All right guys, that's all we got for this episode on the Segway GT1 and GT2. If you wanna check them out, you can use the link in the video description below or go to alienrides.com. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss our next product video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.